for any athlete who's ever suffered a knee injury, the most fearful news they could receive from a doctor is to hear that they've torn an ACL, an MCL, or a meniscus. But for Daryl Williams Jr., he not only tore one of these potential career-ending injuries, he tore them all in the same play. I had the chance to speak with the former starting cornerback from the University of Tulsa on the complete knee dislocation that changed his life. It was fall camp. We had a scrimmage. I think it was the last scrimmage. I was going to make a tackle, and I went low on a guy and kind of tried to like lift him up, and my feet were planted in the ground. As I was tackling, I didn't realize like my teammates were pursuing to the ball, so it ended up being like a pile-up tackle, and with my foot caught in the ground, it just like completely dislocated. As soon as it happened, my biggest thing, I didn't really know what was going on. I looked down, and like, you see your knee in another place. So it was just weird to see, and it was just so much like emotion and stuff going through. When it first happened, I didn't know if I was going to be able to play that season, the next season, never again. Rehab, as anyone can imagine, would be tough for any person going through this type of injury. But the difficult part for Daryl was having to see his family take care of him. The hard part was right after surgery for me. And really a humbling, humbling moment for me was early on. I think it was maybe not even a week after surgery, but like my mom and my grandma, like they actually had to help me shower. So it was just like, wow, I was upset. Just having them having to do so much for me. And I'm used to doing so much, especially having two younger brothers and just in the household. So just having somebody else having to do so much for you was just weird and different for me. While trying to get back out there on the field after such a frightening injury, Williams Jr. knew he had two people especially keeping their eyes on him, which he didn't want to disappoint. You know, I knew it was a reason that everything was happening. For me, my motivation was my two younger brothers because they look up to me and I know that they're going to do whatever I do. So if I'm backed up in the corner and I just sit there and lay and, you know, let the adversity defeat me, then maybe later on in life they may have a situation come up and you know, it could maybe maybe something smaller, smaller than an injury or something like that, but they could have a situation where they're faced with adversity and then, you know, they just let it keep them balled up in the corner. So me knowing that, I just use that as my motivation. You know, my family knowing that I had people watching me and looking up to me, that pushed me through the most part when, you know, on the days where maybe I didn't feel like going to rehab or, you know, I was a little sore or beat up or, you know, I, I didn't feel like doing anything. So that's what kind of pushed me through. He never once looked back at the situation as a setback, but simply just a teaching moment in which he learned to keep his faith strong. Ever since, you know, that injury when it was like ball was almost taken away from me, you know, my career was, you know, almost came to an end. I've appreciated everything so much. I just learned to live every day one day at a time. So with the season having a good year and then, you know, even going through training, taking it day by day and just enjoying the process, you know, just over that, that, that period of time, I've just enjoyed it all. And um, the preparation and everything, you know, I feel it'll speak for itself come pro day. And, and I've always carried a chip on my shoulder, feel like I've had something to prove. Not not really to anybody else, but just to myself, especially because I know I have people that's, you know, in my family that's watching me, you know, my younger brother's looking up to me. So I'm just, I'm, I'm treating it like a game. They are going to it, you know, pretty excited. And I'm real anxious to get it started. So looking forward to a great day. Well, he indeed had himself a great pro day, running a 4.440, which was the fastest recorded time at Tulsa's pro day this year. Williams Jr. now anxiously awaits to hear from a team as the NFL draft begins on April 28th. For Hurricane Vision, I'm Paige Martin.